Hello dear viewers, we have made for you another selection of photographs that will allow you to feel all the fear and dirt of the Second World War. Here is a German soldier firing from the MP38 submachine gun. Many war movies fans are accustomed to see the Germans firing their Schmeiser MP38 or MP40 from the hip. By the way, weapons engineer Schmeiser was actually at the origin of the creation of this weapon. However, in fact, the submachine gun had a folding stock, which German soldier most often used when shooting. Here are officers' coupons for visiting a German pleasure house. In Nazi Germany, there was a well-established system of special satisfaction for the army. In essence, it was a huge entertainment industry for representatives of the Nazis. And at the same time, it was an instrument of control and manipulation in the hands of the intelligence services and leaders of the Third Reich. Here, women are trained to serve as officers or surgeon majors. And here are captured German soldiers and officers in the Netherlands, 1944. Here are conquerors of Europe and representatives of the superior race standing in line for a bowl of soup in British captivity. The Germans, for some reason, thought they would be treated well, but the Americans and the British were not going to stand on ceremony with their enemies, especially after what German occupiers did to prisoners. Here is a guard rocket motor BM-3112 in Berlin, 1945. It was a modification of the BM-13 rocket launcher, the famous Katyusha, which fired 132mm caliber. In the army, it received the nickname Andrusha. It fired 310mm shells. The rocket launcher was installed on American Studebakers supplied to the USSR under land lease. The Andrusha installation had a more advanced turning mechanism and a locking device that allowed the vehicle to move with a loaded launcher. This made it faster and easier to use motors in combat. They entered the front in the summer of 1944. Here are miraculously surviving Jewish store after Kristallnacht, a terrible pogrom during which thousands of synagogues and Jewish offices were destroyed. Berlin, November 10, 1938. Here we see members of the Hitler Youth tug of war in gas masks, Worms, 1933. This photo shows a Red Army soldier who was captured by Finnish troops. The Red Army soldiers is awaiting interrogation. The Finns treated captured Soviet soldiers very cruelly. In any case, no better than the Germans, and we see the brave soldier does not show his fear. On August 25, 1944, the Finnish leadership turned to the USSR with a request for a truce, and on September 4, 1944, a ceasefire agreement was signed between the USSR and Finland. Here are the American destroyer Fisk, which was torn in half as a result of being hit by a heavy German torpedo. On August 8, 1944, the German submarine U-804 attacked an American destroyer in the Azores area. As a result of the attack, 30 ship's crew were killed and 50 people were injured. The surviving crew members were rescued by the destroyer Farquhar, which came to the rescue.
Here we can see Jews standing in line at a travel agency hoping to leave Germany. Berlin, January 1939. And here we see a ritual jumping over a fire during the traditional summer solstice festival. Berlin, 1937. This photo shows the burning royal castle in Warsaw, set on fire by German artillery during the siege of the city. This is Stalingrad, March 1943. Yes, the Battle of Stalingrad has just ended. A month ago, there were battles somewhere nearby. The explosions and the sounds of the guns had just died down. Evacuated residents began to return to the shattered city. Hospitals and schools were the first to start operating. In such conditions, without windows and doors, with plaster hanging from the ceiling, children and teachers began studying in their miraculously almost intact school. Here, U.S. soldiers are posing for a spectacular photo. In their hands, a M1 grenade rifle with an attached M1905 bayonet. Here are gypsy women with German soldiers. During World War II, they were persecuted on an even greater scale. Nazi soldiers not only molested Roma women for fun, but also sent them to concentration camps, which ultimately led to the death of hundreds of thousands of gypsies. And here is the House of Pleasures is moving behind the German troops. However, by the year of 1940, there were clearly not enough German women for all the German pleasure houses. The deficit began to be filled with representatives of the local conquered population of the occupied territories. Here are Soviet soldiers are laughing at the, so to say, shoes used by the Germans for insulation in the harsh winter. Stalingrad, February 1943. A medical skeleton hugs a Wehrmacht soldier. Nankin. Here, the Japanese military are forcing women to pose for certain types of photographs. Here is Albina Malikhachevar, a participant in the Yugoslav People Liberation War, who received several wounds in battles during World War II, 1945. We think this photo speaks for itself. There is nothing to add here.
An elderly Jewish woman sells armbands with the Star of David on the street of the Warsaw Ghetto. A little six-year-old Soviet soldier of the Second World War, Guard Private Sergei Eleshkov. He was only six-year-old when the Germans executed his mother and ten-year-old brother for contacting the partisans. Sergei managed to hide in the forest. For a week he wandered through the autumn forest, exhausted and hungry. Later he was accidentally found by the scouts of the 142nd Guards Rifle Regiment. This girl was a member of the Women Royal Army Corps who showed off a new tattoo on her leg to fellow soldiers during the Second World War. And here we can see a happy reunion with a daughter after World War II. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel.